I used to ride skateboard a lot, guys. Oh, I can't do it. Never mind. Peanut butter and jelly. And this is chocolate milk. But we're about to go to campus, go to the library, just to study them for the final. Alright guys, I'm with my family. This is my little brother. This is my dad. This is my mom. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, November 25th. This week is Thanksgiving week. Thanksgiving is my top three favorite holidays. I have my favorite is probably between Christmas, but Chinese New Year's, and then Thanksgiving. I also really like New Year's and Halloween. Okay, I like all the holidays, whatever. For PhD students, we do get four days off. I won't be going home to celebrate with my family this year. I will be staying here because I really need to focus on school. There's finals coming up soon. And also I have a screening exam for new PhD students, which basically judges your ability to be able to understand Understand the fundamental knowledge that's in your field. I really want to do well on it. But luckily, my parents will actually be flying up to see me. And we're going to be going to a nice restaurant or some buffet or something and get a lot of good food. So I'm really excited for that. For breakfast, I have Korean fried chicken, orange chicken, chow mein, fried rice, and teriyaki chicken. This is a leftover from my birthday party for my last vlog, if you guys saw it. Going to campus right now. Got my lunchbox, packed my leftover food. It's kind of a late morning. The train's under repair, so I had to take a shuttle to go to another train. Now I'm walking, so kind of took a long time, but we're here. We're doing some research, late night research tonight as well. I'm excited to see how this week goes because it's Thanksgiving. All right, guys, we had a long day. Experiments in class. I didn't film anything, unfortunately. I kind of forgot. I got to get back to the habit of filming what I do. But right now, I feel really tired. So I'm going to go get a pre-workout snack and go to Smart and Final and get some ice cream. I usually buy ice cream in the tub because it's cheaper and it's more quantity for a better price. All right, this is the big decision. I got to decide which ice cream I want to eat. Picked up strawberry haagen and some Reese's. Reese's is my favorite chocolate, and haagen was my favorite ice cream back in the day when I was in middle school, but recently it's been uh, Ben & Jerry's. haagen is still a top tier S-class. I wanna enjoy this, and then we'll go to the gym to balance it up. Life is all about balance, you know? Also, I don't have a spoon, so I'm just gonna use my fork. Just knocked out the pint, and we're about to go to the gym, get our workout in. Good pre-workout meal. There's a carbohydrate, strawberry for fiber, and a sugar for energy, so it's actually really healthy. Just kidding, guys. Don't, don't do this. Running to my lab right now. I wanted to give a quick update. I PR'd in my bench today. I did 260 pounds for five reps. So it looks like Hagen Dazs is the best pre workout meal. I was actually kind of shocked because I thought I was going to do not that well, but it's kind of nice to be able to PR on my bench. So we're hyped now. We got to do some cardio. Chicken nugget. This is like San Francisco. You just roasted all of San Francisco reds. <laughs> now we're going to get Wait, it's going too much down. This one. The like shooter goes up and then goes down. I'm here with Reza and Walt, and we made really good progress on the robot. So we replaced the drivers. This is the crappy one, it's only for These DC are motor. Thing that we bought from Timor. <laughs> Two dollars each. Good value. But now we got the expensive drivers, so it was able to limit the amount of amps that goes into the robot. So basically, we are done. This should be at the print soon. Hopefully, we finish this before so finals. For... Thank you, Walt, for the chocolates. Okay. Today was a really important lecture. I just gave one hour lecture about One Piece to my friends. In the future, if you want to hear this lecture, please let me know. It's called One Piece 101, and I'll give you everything from how the story progresses to the world. But I have given a synopsis to basically understand the dynamics of the One Piece world. If you'd like to learn more about One Piece, please reach out to me because one of the best written shows of all time. Ni hao, Jisha, Byron. It's raining for the first time in LA. He got the helmet to protect him and I got my cover. <laughs> we're going to the gym now. And after this, we're gonna get some Chinese food. To celebrate Thanksgiving. So we're excited. See you later. See you later. <laughs> so do you have something you wanna eat? Well, I'm home. I'm here with Byron and Abraham. Yeah, I'm Abraham. Hi. We're at Northern Cafe and Abraham just told me a secret. Just follow the shop, also account. The official account. Then you get a free food. We will share food, but this is Chinese style. Chinese style you share together. Yeah. Pot of cha. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Come by. I got it, Thank you, guys. I'm here with Bing Hao. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, guys, I'm here with Bing Hao. And many people ask, why does he wear a helmet everywhere? Can you explain? No, because I don't ride skateboard. That's not the real reason. Seriously. The reason why he wears a helmet is because it's bulletproof. <laughs> and you gotta be safe in the streets, you know? 
Alright, we're going home. It's Thanksgiving break. No school today. I still have to go to the lab. There's a little bit of research though, unfortunately. Now we're gonna go celebrate. We're going to the Grand Central Market. Basically a giant food court. It has a lot of diversity, but it's mostly Mexican cuisine. Probably get some Mexican food. We'll see. Whatever looks good there. I really love food courts, by the way. I, I like to learn from them, see what they have, all the varieties and options. Just see what's the best to choose from there. I usually like to order a lot, but we'll see. It's not even Thanksgiving yet, but they already set up the Christmas tree. So I'm excited for Christmas, guys. I don't really usually get things for Christmas, but maybe I'll get some this year. Yeah, I don't know. I really like food for Christmas. Or honestly, just spending time with my cousins. <laughs> It's just beef with tortilla, guacamole, and cheese. It's really delicious. We'll try it out. Let you know how it tastes. It basically tastes like a Mexican pizza, but like better flavors, more sauce, good textures, difference of crunchiness and softness. It tastes really delicious. You guys should definitely try it out. Mexican cuisine is like one of the best cuisines, honestly. We also have burgers from FTW. It's a really famous burger spot, so I really wanted to try out. I really like burgers. One of my favorite American foods. I got the double and just a regular cheeseburger, so we're excited to try it out for you guys. Is it better than Shake Shack? Is it better than McDonald's? Probably, but we'll see. This is a delicious burger, guys. This is better than, than the milk. It's pretty solid. Yes, I definitely need to try this one out. We also have two donuts. This is peanut butter and jelly, and this is chocolate filled. And we also have a chocolate peanut butter cookie. So I'm gonna try a bite of each one and rate it for you guys. First, the cookie. This is really good, guys. It's not too sweet, pretty salty, good contrast of flavors, really good chocolate chip cookies. Now for the peanut butter jelly filled donut. This one is really good, guys. You had to try this one. I love donuts that are filled, it's like the best. Now for this chocolate donut. This Boston cream, if I had to rate this out of 10, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. You have to definitely try this. It's better than Krispy Kreme, better than Dunkin' Donuts. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. I know I consumed a lot of food, but this is Thanksgiving week. It's a little breather for me. I honest, you shouldn't eat this much sugar, but I have a sweet tooth. It's the holiday, so I just wanted to celebrate, so. All right, guys, we just finished eating at the right Grand Central Market. What is the Pollo Loco right here? I don't know if it's a hot take or not, but I like Pollo Loco more than Taco Bell. Pollo Loco is basically authentic, real Mexican food. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, November 28th, and it's Thanksgiving. My parents are coming down to visit me, so I'm really appreciative that they're coming down to see me because they know I'm really busy and they take the time out of the day to drive up down here. I'm also thankful for the fact that I'm in this PhD program and that I'm able to pursue something that I really want to do, civil engineering and development. And I'm also thankful to be in this position where I can just study and focus on my academics and I don't have to worry about any external factors. At least I get to stress about things that help improve my life. But I'm just curious what you guys are thankful for. This is a day where we're supposed to reflect and think about the things that make us who we are, think about the things that brought us to where we are. And for me, it's really important that no matter where we are in life, to remember our roots and where we come from in life. I think that's really important to stay grounded because ultimately, if you work towards your goal, you will be successful. But an important thing that I've noticed is that many people they forget where they come from. And I just think it's really important to remember that. So reflecting on yourself, reflecting on your life and how you've gotten to where you are is really important. Today is a very special day. I will be eating some food tonight. I'm excited for that. I hope everyone here who's watching this video has a good time with their friends, their families, and their dog, or whatever animal you have, and that you have a joyful day filled with food, laughter, and happiness. I'm just gonna study, and I'll see you guys later. Right now it's around 3 p.m. I've been working all morning, doing some studying for my finals, getting ready, preparing. And now I'm gonna go to the lab and do some research for a few hours. Hopefully most of you guys who are watching this video got to enjoy their Thanksgiving, get to hang out with their family, spend time with their friends. But if you are in the same boat as me, you gotta do work, we got this. My family's driving me up right now and they should be here in three to four hours. We're gonna get some dinner, so really excited for that. We don't have anything planned for what we're gonna eat tonight. Uh, no reservations or anything. We're just gonna go with the flow, see what's out there. We're not really too picky on what we eat, so whatever it is, we're excited. Just wanna spend time with my family. That's all that matters to me. But I really do like Thanksgiving food. I like turkey, ham, macaroni, cheese, greens, beans, potatoes, something, whatever the lyrics of the song is. It's okay, we get that later, during Christmas or something. 
All right guys, we made a major mess up. My lab is closed because it's the holidays and I kind of forgot that they closed the lab so I can't do my experiments. But I guess that's a sign. It's a sign for me to just relax for a bit, maybe just go back home. I guess this is a good thing. It's meant to be that I'm not supposed to do work today. Since I can't do my lab experiments, I texted my friend who invited me to go to a Thanksgiving party that's on campus. So I might as well go to that um, for a bit. He actually told me he has access to the office. So after I go to the party, I will go to the lab and do some more experiments and then I'll meet up with my parents. So new plan. Also, it's really weird how the whole entire campus is empty. There's like nobody here. I'm here with Byron. He invited me to this Thanksgiving party. He came outside to pick me up, but when he came outside, he locked himself out. So now we're both stuck outside. <laughs> Calling my friends, but no one answered. <laughs> it's okay, we'll, we'll get it eventually. Byron is so cool with a skateboard. So right now I'm about to go to lab. I have to do a little bit of experiments. My parents are gonna come. And, but we were talking to one of the KC students there. She's, she was there for I think five or six years. And we asked her for some advice. And she said the most important thing about PhD or just in general life is to just get enough rest. And I think that's really important because when you rested, you'll have more energy to think more critically and make better decisions. I used to ride skateboard a lot, guys. Oh, I can't do it. Ah, never mind. Yeah, maybe the toys look like a back in the day. All right, guys, I'm with my family. This is my little brother. What's up? This is my dad. And this is my mom. They came all the way from San Francisco to come visit me. It's like a seven hour drive, so I'm really happy. Anything to say, Adri? UCLA is nicer than USC. <laughs> That's always the same. Okay. You want to say anything, Epa? Yeah. I'm just happy to be here with my son for Thanksgiving. He's busy. He can't be out here with us, so we, we drove all the way up here for him. Thank you, Epa. I'm done there for him. I don't know. It seems right to me. Byron is joining me and my family. We're going to a Brazilian steakhouse. It'll be Byron's first time. Anthony, you excited? Yeah. He's excited. We'll see you when we're inside. I'm here with Anthony. He's working in a structural engineering firm in San Francisco now, so I don't really get to see him often. How's everything? How's life, Anthony? Life is, is life, you know? Like sometimes life, you just go through it and it's, and it's good, you know? You got any advice to the world? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna go eat food. We're at a Brazilian steakhouse uh, with my family and with Byron. So we're really happy to have him. Do you like the food on my appa? It's good. Anthony, what do you think of the Brazilian steakhouse? We've been to many, but this is a new one. Had a lot of meat. I didn't know they were gonna have that much meat. Their vegetable options were a bit limited. I'm vegan, so <laughs> I wanted more vegetables. But it was weird, like they only had meat. It was, it was all right. He's trolling, guys. He's nothing home. Hey, what's your experience? Your first time having Brazilian steakhouse? Too much food. I'm so full. Cool. Panacha. How about you, Appa? Excellent. I like the variety. And they also have a lot of vegetables. Oh, the <laughs> They're making a Sonic 3 movie with Shadow. This is like my childhood right here. Just finished eating. We're going back home now. Tomorrow, we're gonna start studying again. But now, we're just gonna relax. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Good morning, guys. It's Friday. We're planning on going to get Chinese food with my family before they leave. So, we're really excited for that. Right now, we're looking over this beautiful view of LA. It's pretty nice, but it's not like Hong Kong or Taiwan, but it's still cool. It's been a long day. I mostly just relaxed, to be honest. It's 5 p.m. right now. It's already dark, but we're about to go to the campus, go to the library, get some studying done for the final. Had a good time with my family. It was really fun. Got to eat dim sum. It was just Cantonese style food with my family. Surprisingly, really good dim sum. I'm in front of the library. Unfortunately, it's closed. I guess it's meant to be again. These things happen, I guess. Some things are out of your control, but you just gotta adapt to it and just do your best to make the best out of the situation. What I'm gonna do is get some frozen yogurt first, and then I'm gonna go home and study, just to treat myself, even though I've already treated myself this whole week. Yogurt land. I was so worried it was gonna be closed. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. Next week, we gotta go back to school. It was nice to be able to relax with my family, get to enjoy and spend time with them and eat some good food. I hope all of you guys had a good Thanksgiving break as well. So today, it's gonna be a light day. For breakfast, I have brisket and rice. My dad made ribs and brisket and he packed a, a lot of them and froze it and gave it to me. So I'm gonna be eating this throughout the week. Pretty excited to eat this, it's really good. I also have leftover dim sum from yesterday. So I'm just gonna eat some of the sticky rice and this meat and taro bun. I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll see you guys later. Guys, I went to get a haircut in K-Town, but unfortunately, there's reservations for like an hour, so I decided to not get a haircut, and I'm just gonna go shopping in the H-Mart, get some groceries for the week.
All right, guys, I'm just gonna end the vlog with some kimbap. I bought some at H Mart, so I'm really excited to eat this. If you don't know what kimbap is, it's basically Korean sushi, but it's not sushi. But this is like my childhood food. I really enjoy eating it, so I'm gonna finish this up and study for the rest of the night, and that'll be it. So I'll see you guys next time.